So this is going to be my video for installing my Hefty Fabworks um, Brux ladders on a 2020 Toyota 4Runner it's a TRD Off-Road Premium. The interesting part of the install for the sliders is this particular 4Runner has the KDSS suspension system. And that is generally located on the left side of the vehicle, on the driver's side, and it creates a couple of interesting uh, challenges when you're installing the sliders. And I'll walk through those. This is a picture of the passenger side of the Forerunner and the frame underneath. You can see I went through yesterday afternoon and actually cleaned the frame so that pressure washed it at the car wash and then came home and actually cleaned it with a good rag. Just tried to make sure I had everything um, removed as far as dirt and grime and had it so that the sliders will fit up tight against the frame without any uh, debris between the sliders and the frame. I have not removed the small plastic tabs from the frame yet because I haven't put the sliders up against the frame to see exactly which ones I will need to remove. So you can see there's about five along the frame and I don't need to re remove all of them but I certainly will need to remove two or three particularly near the ends. One item that I will need to pay attention to on the passenger side is the emergency brake line and the bracket that holds it to the frame. So we will be removing that bolt and let that line hang free so we can slide the slider brackets up against the frame and then we'll reattach that uh, bolt and um, emergency brake line. looking at the driver's side of the Forerunner and you can see here that the cover for the KDSS pump and this little cover that covers the line so that they don't get damaged. Both of those should not have to be changed or the covers removed in order to fit the hefty fabwork sliders. I will need to look at these connectors here because these are the KDSS lines and they are very rigid and fragile so I need to slide the mounts for the sliders behind those. So I will be removing that bolt and the bolt back here towards the rear and then one other item we'll probably have to remove is the middle bolt here on the skid plate for the gas tank skid. So that one in the center I believe will also need to be removed to mount the sliders because that's a mounting point. We just have to slide the slider mounts behind these lines. Slightly, so we can get okay. get it slid under there. It's it's just they're they have a tremendous amount. Just not much play at all. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know about that one. Let me have to take that out. Is that got a screw in it there? No, it's a uh, it's one of those plugs. Oh. Let's see. I, I didn't take it out because oh. I it was behind that. I was gonna say if it's behind that, that and that's gotta it go out, in there. I have to break it out. So we'll uh, see. Okay. Now, you may be able to use 
So maybe we need to rotate it. Uh huh. Uh, we have to pull it back some to rotate it because it's over. Oh, you know what? Hey. Okay, yep. Ready? Uh, you're lifted. I think you're going to have to get it down. Oh, down here? Oh, the bracket itself? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me, let me see it just a second. Oh, yeah. See if you can get leverage on yeah. it now with it. I need a little bit. I'm not giving you much room. There you go. There you go. Now I'm getting there. Come on. Almost. So close to getting out. Thank you. All right. Yeah, tighten up. Are you loosening it up? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's why he's not doing this. <laughs> yeah, we figured it out when it came out, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Okay, looks like this one and one more above this too. Uh-huh. Oh wait, no two. It's up here too. Oh yeah, that's right. 